Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Facebook Marketplace banned me for wanting to sell a bow site. Can you believe that? Okay, here's the story. Probably a few days back, I posted an ad that said, two bow sites for sale. No problems, no hiccups. Okay, you even got to part with one of them. So, the other day, I decide, well, yesterday, actually, I posted this up for sale. Bow site, left or right-handed, it was the title. Okay, so they come back to me and they say, no, that goes against our guidelines. And it's like, it's not a weapon. It's a freaking bow site, okay? It's not a weapon, all right? Anyways, because they don't like weapons up there, all right? Unless it's a paintball gun, and even that's a weapon according to the Firearms Act, because it's still classed as a firearm. Yeah, they allow paintball guns, go figure. And they can be pretty damn lethal, too. Trust me, I know all about paintball guns and air guns, because I am an expert on that stuff. Anyhow, so I said, all right, give me a review, right? I want to review this. I don't agree with your decision. They come back and they say, nope, not going to allow it. So I thought, okay, I'll just take the pictures and I'll put them into the ad with the two bow sites for sale. And then I changed it to three bow sites for sale, okay? Then about five minutes later, I refresh my page in Facebook and boom, you've been banned off Facebook Marketplace. Request a review. Took hitting the button twice before it actually went through. And then I'm like, I'm not happy with this. Let's see if there's another way. There is no way to contact Facebook by phone number, at least not that I can find anywhere. So I thought, all right, well, let's see if we can find another way to maybe activate another review based upon the ad that they banned, okay? Because that's still up there. It's just nobody gets to see it now. And of course, I did post a black cat recurve kids bow for sale a while back, which they automatically just vaporized. They're like, nope, you're not having that. Now, meanwhile, there are thousands of ads for compound bows, crossbound bow, cross pound, cr yeah, cross, cross bows, compound bows, crossbows, recurve bows, vintage bows, um, broadheads, arrows, accessories, like bow sites that they've allowed, okay? And everything else you can think of under the sun when it comes to archery, but also other types of weapons too, like knives. A knife is a weapon, okay? And they don't want weapons up there, okay? Unless it's a kitchen knife, yeah, but hunting anything, no. Now, the following pictures that you're going to see in a moment are my evidential proof that they're allowing this stuff. Now, we didn't gather up everything on Facebook, obviously, but we gathered up more than enough substantial evidence because I have also, in my little write-ups to them, threatened to sue them because they are going against their own guidelines, if that's the case, and since when is a bow site a freaking weapon? It is not a definable piece of machinery that can be defined as a weapon, okay, under their guidelines, okay? So they're going against their own guidelines by picking and choosing who they allow to put weapons up there and who they are not going to allow, okay? And some of these ads have been up there for a long time now, and yet they've not been dinged. Hmm, very suspicious, isn't it, okay? So anyways, I told him, I says, I'll see you for all court costs, legal fees. And I says, I have, you know, evidential proof. I mean, you, I'm going to win. Like, we're going to be in and out of there in 10 minutes. You're busted. <laughs> I win. I get compensation. And <laughs> you get in trouble with the law. Because you're also going against selling weapons online under your own policies. Which, it kind of boils down to that. Because on eBay, you can't... Um, sell firearms anymore, which I kind of agree. That's kind of a bad thing, okay? I mean, you have to be able to prove that the person has a valid pal, etc., etc., right? So they did kibosh that a long time ago, but then, of course, parts have still made their way through there. But you can buy bows and arrows and other archery gear 
on eBay without any issue because I don't consider those in the same type of class of a weapon that would be prohibited for sale as an online thing other than through like an authorized website. Like if you went to DL Air Guns, for example, you could buy PAL and non-PAL pellet guns. If you go to any of the uh, websites that actually offer regular everyday firearms, you do have to provide your PAL and proof of it and blah, 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 and or they're not going to send you your, your new gun, right? And that's fair, right? That's totally fair. And if it's completely legal to do that, then there shouldn't be any issues either, even with Facebook, when it comes to selling bows and arrows, okay? Or in this case, a, a friggin... Because any bow I've ever tried to post, nope, they won't let me, okay? But a bow site, they allowed my one ad for two bow sites for sale, but when it came down to bow site, left or right-handed... They're not allowing me, and because I edited my other ad to try and get the pictures of this in there, and of course change the wording just from two to three, I got banned off Marketplace Facebook because I violated what guidelines? There are no guidelines that cover this. And if there is, then they're doing a very piss poor job at managing their own website when they can ding somebody like me who's a nobody instantaneously, yet thousands of other people have ads all over Marketplace everywhere, okay? Even people in the U.S. post on Marketplace, right? People all over Canada, all over Ontario, right? And like I said, we only got a very small amount to show you guys. So enjoy the pictures because that's my proof and I will also be sharing this video to my Facebook homepage as well for people to look at and share. So share this video as well, okay? Please do so. And if you do happen to watch this video and you are on my friends list on Facebook, please share it with all your friends too. Let's spread the wealth of Facebook and how they discriminate, how they allow this sort of stuff when they say they don't, and when they come across something that should be allowed because it doesn't violate guidelines, at least not that I'm aware of, okay? Because um, obviously, you know, I think we should uh, put them in their place. They need to be put in their place. It is time. I don't let anybody step on my toes. That's rule number one, okay? I don't put up with people's garbage. And this is utter BS that needs to be taken to task against Facebook because if I can't do it then nobody else should be allowed to either. Now some of these pictures you'll find that I have also scribbled out in black uh, people's names to protect their own identities okay because that's fair all right and I don't need that kind of a hassle um, but the ads are very clear there and you'll see other just generalized pictures of ads as well as main ads that show better pictures of such items for sale that are hmm violating the guidelines of Facebook, yet Facebook doesn't seem to want to violate their own guidelines on those people, but for me, I'm getting picked on. And it happened to a friend of mine once, too. He got nailed, and I don't remember what for. He doesn't even know what for, actually. So, anyways, enjoy the pictures, and we will give you an update video if Facebook decides to change their mind and unlock my account after this, which, if they're smart, they will. If they're stupid, well, there you go. All right, so enjoy the pictures, and uh, so I'm going to say goodbye at this point, but enjoy the pictures. They're, they're right now.